Uh, pressure is the single most important variable that determines the performance of your nozzle. It uh, determines your fan angle, it determines your droplet size. So it's important to know the nozzle pressure. Uh, usually on most sprayers, the pressure is read somewhere near the pump. And as a result, you might not know what the actual nozzle pressure is. And, and there will be some pressure drop in between those two. Uh, the best way to measure the direct nozzle pressure is to mount a gauge on the boom. Uh, this is a gauge that can be purchased locally. It's probably worth 20 or $40. And it's threaded onto uh, a quarter inch uh, NPT uh, threaded cap that's available for about a dollar. You simply mount these on your boom, uh, start the sprayer up, set your pressure uh, to about 60 or 70 PSI for using air induction tips. Make sure all your boom sections are running. Try to have a higher flow nozzle in there because pressure drop is maximal at higher flows. You want to get the worst case situation. And then read the new pressure here. This pressure will be lower. It'll probably be some PSI lower, 5 PSI, maybe even as much as 10 PSI lower. That pressure drop should be added to your reading in the cab. In other words, if you want to operate at 40 PSI, the cab reading has to be 50 PSI. If you don't want to go below 30 on a minimum pressure, you program your 2630 monitor or other monitors to read uh, to not go below 40 PSI. So you just simply add that pressure drop on and then you'll know your nozzle is always going to be at some something above optimal. The first plot was sprayed at, at 10 PSI. Uh, clearly this is too low a pressure for proper pattern development and manifests itself in striping from bad overlaps. The second set of plots were done at 15 PSI. This is actually the minimum operating pressure of many of the air induction nozzles according to their manufacturer. Still insufficient or just barely sufficient for proper pattern development. The third plot was sprayed at 30 PSI. This is actually the minimum recommended pressure for most air induction tips. You can see now the pattern has fully developed and there are very few gaps due to overlap misses. In this plot sprayed at 30 PSI, you may also have noticed that there are certainly some escapes uh, out there. And that's because despite the fact that we corrected for the pattern problems, we still have a droplet size problem. At too low a pressure, the droplets are probably very coarse to extremely coarse. In this case, for this active ingredient, a contact product, simply too coarse for good control. This uh, kind of active would have benefited from a higher operating pressure, maybe 60, 70 PSI to eliminate some of the bigger drops, produce more small drops, give you better coverage.